Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, Dynamite, the Explosive One, TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T, Jonas, we back! Dude. We in these streets. Yeah. I mean, we're not in the streets, we're in the house. I'm not going we'll out there. We'll be the there. only one out there. <laughs> we will be the only one Go stand out on there. the corner. Do the Crazy Town Podcast. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today, as always. Please make sure to check out our YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media. Uh, subscribe there or go uh, Spotify, iTunes, any other place online. Look for the Crazy Town Podcast, and that's where you'll find us. Uh, TNT. What up, though? Um, have you ever been pulled over by the police? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually. A bunch of times. <laughs> yeah, I have. Funny to. enough, Jonas. Yeah. Wouldn't that be weird if me being who I am never got pulled over? But I have. How many times did you say you've been pulled over in your life? In my life? Like, yeah. Yeah, for your life, I guess. Probably, like, maybe less than 20. Less than 20? Probably around 15 to 10. 10 to 15 10 to 15. Times. How many times have I been pulled over? Eh, yeah, probably. I think, I think less than 10, but more than 5. Okay. Yeah, something like that. That's I can I can think of like five or six off the top of my head. If I really thought, probably ten, maybe even be a little bit more than ten. Pro probably about the same then. It probably should be more because I have a lead foot. Yeah, I used to speed all the time. It's not. I'm not as bad with it, but pfft. yeah, yeah. Well, um, there was two guys pulled over in Santa Rosa, Florida. Oh, a Florida story. Yeah, and you know sometimes you get pulled over. The cops like get a little get a little hint of something going on. They want to search your car. Yeah, you know they're like. You have any paraphernalia in the car? I told the story about when I got pulled over and the cop asked me if I've ever done drugs in my life and asked me if... What kind of question is that? And he was like, do you have any large sums of cash in this vehicle? And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> what if you did? I'm like, I got 25K and hundreds in the back. Like, I don't like... I was like, what do I look like? Do look I'm dri like I, dri I was driving a, mm -hmm. a Kia Optima. <laughs> Like, come on, bro. I ain't got, I ain't driving. Yeah. I don't know. You kind of do look like a low level drug dealer. Do I? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Do I really? Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I low. can see that. All right. Fair. Low level. And I used to wear, I had a thing I had my hat on backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Low level. I'd be like the, the guy who sells dime bags. <laughs> like, you look like the guy we get mushrooms from. <laughs> 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 wow at least i have a type <laughs> like i, I need mushrooms <laughs> no jonas has it you kind of look like that guy okay so they they got pulled over <laughs> and they happened to look they happened to look in the car and they saw a bag and the bag literally said on it bag of drugs wait a minute we already did the story no we didn't i feel like we did but all right i, I no, we may maybe yeah we did it's fine bag of drugs why did the bag say bag of drugs? Because there was drugs in it. Wait, was he? But why would you? What? They had two of them, actually. They had two, two bags. bags that said bag of drugs. It had meth, the date rape drug, cocaine, MDMA, and fentanyl. <laughs> it had rohypnol in it? Yeah, dude. Why? <laughs> They're out having dr drug fun. And the police, like, put posted it up on Facebook with a picture of all the bags and everything. And then they made the joke about how the canines can read. What? They're like, we only found this because our drug dogs can read. I, wait, was it like embroidered on there? Was it like... It looks like it was like screen pressed or something Okay, on it. well see... Embroidered, I they took the time to like sit and their grandmother crocheted I mean, it for them. Look, I get it. Because that is actually kind of amazing that that product exists. Is it just a bag that says bag of drugs? Or that he was so serious about his craft that he decided to go full meme with it and put bag of drugs on his bag of drugs honestly he's a hero is he <laughs> i feel like you it. feel like the the guys won't rape him in the prison because they're going to respect him so why much why would he get raped dude he didn't do anything crazy he had he's going to jail for a long time that doesn't automatically mean that you're going to get butt raped jonas it's, it's not like he did anything against children or women. That'd get you raped. Yeah. That's a guaranteed rape. In Sexual right assault of like a woman or a child will yeah. definitely get you raped in prison. Uh, Weinstein, that's a raping. All right. He just he just caught the situation though. Yeah. Uh, wait. 
I'm not going there. Either way, I'm saying that's a guaranteed raping. Something yeah. against women or children. You well, get either raped. a rape Drugs? or a beating. One of the two. Yeah. Drugs, I don't really feel like that guarantees you a rape. I think you can go to jail and just be cool. Okay. They might respect that you had a bag of drugs. Yeah, especially when you tell them the story. You're like, dude, I thought it'd be funny. I just had bag of dr- bag of drugs on my bag of drugs, and cops found it. <laughs> I mean, they got a laugh out of it. They found it funny. Oh, I'm sure the cops thought it was funny. Yeah, because they're booking them in. Dude, that that is the hardest meme I've ever heard. Right there. Congratulations. It's <laughs> yeah, good. That's a good meme. All right, on to another, on to another uh, somewhat related story. What else you got? Uh, in Toronto, Florida. Home of Drake. Yes. Uh, there is a, a youth hockey league. Imagine that, Jones. Yes. Hockey and they, in Canada. Never thought of it. And they, I, I realized I didn't start the game, so it's just watching a screen. That's all right. The game is not relevant for the, for the video. <laughs> <laughs> it was just background stuff. So the, every, every year they do one of those, um, I don't know what kind of auction they call it. It's the one where they put like a brown paper bag and you put tickets in it. Silent auction? Well, a silent auction, I think, is more of paper, where you write down what you're willing to pay for it, and the highest price gets it. A reverse auction? Something. It's like, yeah, they put in a ticket. You put all your tickets in a bag, and they pull a, a stub out, and if, if your number matches, you win the thing. Okay. So That's a raffle. A, a raffle, yeah, I guess. Yeah, auction, <laughs> raffle, whatever. Um, So they uh, all the teams, the youth teams, were pretty much responsible for putting together their own gift bags or whatever. Um, gift and bags. whatever gift, whatever their little thing was, whatever, whatever, oh, cause it's like a okay. fundraiser. For okay. The, I get you. So they were, oh, they, they got the stuff for the fundraiser. Right. They'd be raffled off. So, gotcha. um, you know, there, w- there was an eight year old boy mm-hmm. who put, who put his bat, his ticket in a bag and he, he won the prize cause he saw like chocolate and fondue and like, yeah, it was all marijuana products. Wait, shut the fuck away. If I was a youth. Right. Some fucking team in the youth league thought it would be a great idea and put. All right, well, <laughs> hold on. First off, forgot it was Canada. It's legal. Yeah, right. It yeah. is legal. It's not so, like it's the US. Yeah, it's Canada, so, so at least it's legal. There's no, there's no reason to call the police. It is legal. Right. Um, the eight year old boy winning it. Is that, was that in bad? T- like. Yeah, it's legal, but like that'd be like you have a youth soccer team and you put a bottle of Jack Daniels as your as your, as your door prize, and well, like you know, kids could win it. Honestly, I feel like if it was like a bottle of Jack Daniels and then other stuff that was for children or something, you're thinking like a parent's gonna win this, and then you're like, "Yep, oh, that one's going to me, buddy. You can have the coloring book. Right, and right. I'm gonna take this one." Right, you know? and like that would probably be. Like a way to get adults to want to participate because they're like, oh, I can get some liquor. My kid can get some coloring books. And whatever. I could see that being his thought process. Now, it's still in bad taste, Jonas, because it's a youth event. You don't want to necessarily in- include right. alcohol or drugs even right. if they're legal. But, yeah, that's in bad taste. Well, they said the kid put put the ticket in the bag because he saw the chocolates and the fondue and all uh, that. And he was like, oh, candy. And then he wins it. And his dad or whoever had to be like, sorry, chum, we can't. <laughs> Sorry, chum. We'll go get you a Snickers at the store. <laughs> yeah, right. Daddy will eat these tonight. <laughs> right? <laughs> he was like, well, daddy won the lottery. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, I couldn't imagine, like, weed's legal in Canada. 100%. All, all over there. All over. Drake's in there just slanging. And it hasn't burned to the ground. The streets aren't like a muck with like. No one even talks about it. Yeah, there's not like pot zombies just hanging out. <laughs> That's pot. what they're thinking, dude. You just do you do so much pot and you turn into a pot zombie. Like, I need marijuana. And you're stabbing people. and Yeah, we've all seen Reefer Madness. Yep. We know what happens. That's a documentary as far as I'm concerned. It, yeah, it, it's nuts, man. It's nuts to think that they can just walk through the streets, go to the store, and just pick up a and sack. you can do that in some of the states here? Yeah, a couple of them. Yeah, it's interesting, man. I mean, I'm not interested in that stuff. Because, like, why? But if it were legal, I, I might try it. For the first time? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it in college, but I didn't inhale. If I'm going to tell a convincing lie, I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to tell <laughs> the first fucking tall tale. Well, when that cop asked me if I'd ever done he's like, is there any drugs in the car? I'm like, no, sir. He's like, have you ever done drugs before? I was like, no, sir. <laughs> See, that's just a bad lie. <laughs> what am I? But I didn't. I was so dumbfounded by the fucking question. Like I was like, "What do I say?" Yeah, I mean, you know, I'd be like, 
I'd be like, yes. <laughs> On February 24th, 2004, I did. <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker, I'm 37. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? You think I ever done drugs before? I had to do drugs just to make it this far in life. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for drugs, I would have been gone a long time ago. Do you see what I have to deal with every day? Yeah, dude. It just, uh, yeah, that really, it really. Have you done drugs, officer? Yeah, that's what I would. He looked ask. like he was someone was waiting for me to mouth off, though. He was, gonna, he would pulled me out the car in a minute. Did he have one of those reflective sunglasses? Uh, no. He lifted, he lifted up his sunglasses. Oh, he, get the... he, he went, he went to my passenger side door. He didn't even come to my the passenger yes, side. Yes, he had me roll down the window. He put his arms on it. And like lean down in and talk to me and pulled his pulled his gla- he was a good old boy state highway patrolman. Did he have the hat? He did. He had the yeah, hat. Yeah, he pulled the glasses off and was like, "You know why I pulled you over, son?" <laughs> he caught you. Son. And I'm like, I'm like, that's the worst. And the and the fucked up part was that <clears throat> he pulled me over for following too close. But what happened was oh, I was in the I was in the passing lane, <laughs> and there was a semi going like forty. Dude, we've told your yeah, story these people. Before. That was season two. Yeah, but we don't want to hear about your your fucking. But I'm just telling over ticket, and dude. And so yeah, I got jacked. Over. Yeah, I and then he gave me sure. all that. Sh- I was so dumbfounded. Like it took me like an hour after he like let me go to be like. The fuck just happened? Like, why yeah. did he? Actually, ask- he didn't recognize you because there's only twelve people that lived in that town, and <laughs> you, you weren't he's, one of them. He's like, you don't look like you're from here, boy. You're not related to me, are you? <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Yeah, then? Why are you in my city? <laughs> so, yeah, that was uh, fucked up. Yeah, and, uh, uh, I wonder what happened. Like, I wonder if like the the grandfather ate the weed or he like let it. Oh no, nah, dude. That I mean, I'm sure that the the edibles found a good home. That's really, it's not like you're going to get seized or anything. You just can't give it to the kid. I'm sure, I'm even sure that they probably had something on the thing that said that it was. Yeah, probably. Well, that'd, be like, that'd be like you products. go to like one in the U.S. and it's like, yeah, it's just like a pack of smokes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a carton of Camel non-filters. Right. The kid's like, I love candy cigarettes. Exactly. And he wins a carton. Candy cigarettes, Jonah. Those <laughs> don't exist. <laughs> they dude, got those the fuck out of here. Remember those? Yes. Dude? And they have like the red tip, like they, and you used to pretend that you were smoking them. Did you know there was actually a method? Like because candy cigarettes were always coated in like that powder. Yeah, yeah. That powder was supposed to like simulate smoke. Oh, like so there was like a way you were supposed to smoke them. No, or- that was they had gum. The candy cig- there was gum that came wrapped in a cigarette cellophane, almost a cigarette wrapping, almost, and you could blow into it, and it would okay. blow smoke. That I think you're thinking maybe about. it's that because the candy cigarettes were made of like almost like a smarty type material, so there was no blowing Ugh, anything. Yeah, I don't know what that shit was. <laughs> it was it was something weird. You could, like take it in your fingers and just cr- it was like yeah. bone meal or something. <laughs> <shit, dude. laughs> it was kind of like bone meal. Dude. It was like weird. It was like they just took like a powder I, and like. It was, I mean, they were good. I oh, guess. I love iced eat the ish out of those fuckers, dude. Yeah, but loved them. Candy cigarettes, and, and he, here I am pretending to smoke candy cigarettes while my parents smoke real <laughs> cigarettes. And my mom goes, "You ever smoke a cigarette? I'll break your wrist." And I'm Ooh, like, "You were doomed." Man. How are we not supposed to smoke cigarettes? 80s, 80s was a wild time. <laughs> it was a wild time. They just got out of the cocaine seventies and like cocaine and uh, fucking crack. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And then they're like, everything was just neon, and everyone was just doing coke everywhere. 80s were wild. 90s were even wilder. Whew. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. That's a crazy Oof. time. So, do you want to hear a story about somebody who's stupid? <laughs> You're just going to tell <laughs> your bi- autobiography right now? <laughs> One time when I was a boy. Yeah. No. So, this is this is how fucking lame the news was before the incident. Dude, it's pretty lame now. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> so, this was an actual news story. There was a lady. Her name is Callie Wilkes. Callie. She uh she used to post on social media all the time about her succulents. She was like, <laughs> "Don't you fucking she was say like, that term without explaining it." She, a succulent <laughs> is a plant. <laughs> I know, but who the fuck uses that term? That's the type of plant it is. It's called a succulent. That's not what succulent means. <laughs> that, there's a plant called the succulent. When I when you say she was posting about her succulents, I'm thinking, oh man, she got them thick thighs or something. <laughs> right, fair. 
But so so she was posting about how she loved it and all this stuff and <laughs> and she love was, my plant. <laughs> dude, people like things like that. I don't Fucking know. Whack job. And uh, she went after two years. She went to go repot it. Mm. Found out. It was a plastic fucking plant. What a it was, freaking, it know wasn't what real. <laughs> she posted a video on social media expressing her disdain and even said, and I quote, I feel like these last two years were a lie. <laughs> no, I feel like you a stupid motherfucker to believe. Why didn't your plant grow in two years? Are you that dumb? <laughs> she was watering that son of a bitch. She, she was. And then she opened it up and it was like stuck to styrofoam in a pot, you know, because it was like a fake plant. I'm like, how do you water any plant for two years and it not grow and you not go? Why isn't it grown? Why isn't it changed oh at God. all? Was she elderly, Jonas? I don't think so. She was like, I think they said she was like 30 something. You know what, Jonas? And it's, it's people like this. Like, I remember we were discussing about uh, our improv class and how some people just, you know, it takes a little bit longer for them to get things. Right. And you're like, with, every, with anything. And I was like, this is the basis for like school of like how. Even when you're in classes, like the teacher is going at a pace to accommodate the people who it's going to take longer for them to get shit, even though you might move ahead. Sometimes you're going to be that person that needs a little bit extra expl right, exactly. explanation. In life, Jonas, there's some stupid people out there who need for you to post these these uh, uh, call to actions that you're just like, well, of course I shouldn't like... Uh, Take a shit in the swimming pool. Duh. Oh, I shouldn't bring a glass bottle in a swimming pool? You don't... Yeah. Every rule has a reason it was created. Because somebody obviously did right. it. Right. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, like, it's like the... Like, the, we were talking about in the in the last episode, the, uh, the hot coffee. Like, motherfucker, you know it's hot. Yes! Like, and that's why they have, like, those little silicone packs inside, like, bacon bits and shit. It says, do not eat. Like, because you know somebody ate it and somebody got sick. somebody ate it, yeah. And you're like, <laughs> but why would you eat? Jonas, hot take: stupid people shouldn't be allowed to sue. You should have to take. <laughs> let's see, don't look at me like that. You should have to take a IQ test prior to suing somebody in court. What if it's like a valid reason, though? What if it's like? A, I mean, like you were assaulted. That's I you mean, don't need to well, be. Well, yeah, but if you just ate a silicone package, <laughs> they're <laughs> or, like. Or you put lube all over your floor and you slipped on it. You you can't sue for that, all right? If it's deemed stupid, then you're just stupid. Yeah, that's why we have judges that should show that, throw that shit out, but they don't. Sometimes yeah. they do. I'll yeah. give credit. Sometimes judges see cases and they're just like, no. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. We're not letting you do this. You are an idiot. I don't know, man. I'm surprised that's you didn't crazy. try to sue the plant maker and be like, why, why didn't you tell me this wasn't real? Why yeah, don't it's too realistic. That's a lawsuit, Jonas. That's false is, advertising. Is it? Yeah. Wow. You made this plan so realistic that I, emotional distress, you can sue for that. I'm emotionally distressed right now, Jonas. I'm taking you to you court. You caused me all sorts of emotional distress. You take, caused me emotional distress with the dolphin lover story. That Dude, that was a life. long time ago. Episode 10, season one. Go How listen to it. remember that? I remember a lot of stuff. It was the pinnacle of our budding podcast relationship <laughs> <laughs> that was the day i i ruined you for life by yeah, yeah that was a good story dude it was, it was not <laughs> it was not a good story wow i don't i don't like it i got one more little quick hit i want to touch on for we're doing this four in this one episode they're not there's nothing long dude there's not it's not long talk dude all right fine go ahead. headphone jacks yes what about them wow you give what? up? You signing out? Want me to just no? The I'm not now? signing out. But tell me about your headphone jacks. Did you know that the amount of stripes on it tells different information? Really? Yeah. If it that. has one, it's mono. If it has two, it's stereo. And if it has three, it has stereo and a mic. And if you're using a headphone jack, you're you're eighty. <laughs> <laughs> the it's fuck? Blue, it's Bluetooth. Everybody has AirPods now, Jonas. What are AirPods? I'm I, I, I was gonna <laughs> rip this goddamn microphone and beat you with it. <laughs> <laughs> I was killed by the microphone that made me happy. Yeah, sue me for that motherfucker. Wow. One hit means that you Yeah, I don't uh I did not <laughs> One know hit means. I did not know that. That is actually very good information. Yeah, see right? I didn't know that either. I thought that was I thought that was interesting. It's archaic information, oh, but yeah, it is something that I can share with people. Yeah. And make me look like a pretentious asshole. If so I get you a BJ, you owe me one. Why would that get me a blowjob? 
maybe you'll really impress her. You're like, hey, girl, like, you know what up? You know what this means? And let me see like, that. <laughs> she's like, oh, I didn't realize by looking at the inline microphone on my fucking microphone cord that there's a mic on this. <laughs> Damn, girl, why don't you just, mm -hmm. She's like, okay. Look, baby, I bought you a, a headphone jack with two rings on it. Boom! Because I love you. Mm, I want you to hear everything in stereo, girl. Mm. <laughs> Be like Barry White, baby, you know. Is stereo even a thing anymore? Everything is stereo, I think. I don't think stereo is even a thing. I don't well, think they there, even No, it is, because there's still mono where, like, it's it just comes through, like, um, I just, just one track. I just remember, like, when you would look at, like, uh, music. I'm, I, I'm just, fuck it, cassette tapes. <laughs> See, they would say they're stereo or mono. Yeah, it'd be like emblazed and like that was a selling point that it was searing stereo surround sound. Mm -hmm. Well, because sometimes of some matters. of the audio is in one side and some is in the other. Like, you know, sometimes you'll listen to a song and the guitar will start in the left ear and then it picks up in the right ear later. I hate that. I Me too. Yeah, but Hated that's that. stereo compared to mono where everything's in both sides. Yeah, but like, yeah, I don't I, know. No, I feel you. Yeah. I get it. It doesn't even, it's yeah. not, yeah. I but good know. to know, Jonas. But yeah, I figured we'd uh, end that out. And then uh, before we come back next time with our 100th motherfucking episode <laughs> coming up on the <laughs> next so one. so excited. I am, dude. <laughs> dude, okay. I had a friend who was like, imagine what they're going to sound like when you have 50 episodes. And in my head, I'm like, trash. And then I'm like, what? oh, now we're at 100. Still garbage. So <laughs> can't wait to drop a fat pile of garbage on you next podcast. <laughs> but that is all the time we have for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> very very nicely worded. <laughs> Please make sure to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media. Uh, also, Spotify and iTunes uh, under Crazy Town Podcast. Find us. Listen to us. There might be something in there that you like. YouTube. Yeah, all of it. Go subscribe. You don't, you don't even have to listen, but I want you to listen. I want you to listen, too. Watch. I mean, But for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are uh, out. Uh,